What is up guys, your riddles, your boy Kagi back at it again with a new video and in this video I'm gonna breed some reptiles um, This is gonna be from the beginning to the end So it's gonna be a two-part video put together So you're probably gonna see the end of this video and how the actually came out. So that's pretty fun That's pretty fun. So here we go um, What I really want to do here is actually breed some reptiles. I have never bred any reptiles So I bought two reptiles. I bought this reptile right here looking cute as hell It has tri spikes tiny turtle it has cerastis and it has snake jar right um what i'm really trying to get in reality is more tri spikes for sure tiny turtle for sure but i really want scaly spear so what i did was actually i bought this other axi that already has scaly spear and i like what it has here red ear you know a lot of shield um kotaro it's okay um, I'm down for that, but it also has tiny turtle in the back. So that's probably gonna um, increase my percentage when I actually breed So let's calculate this and let's see how it comes out. Yeah So iguana obviously has more because it's in DNA one right here um, Yeah, in the D DNA and R1. Well, I didn't see that. I didn't see that. Yeah, it's gonna be way more powerful for sure so uh, yeah, wall gecko would be at the end so 46% iguana, I'm okay with that. 50% tri spikes, scaly spear, which I really want. It's at 50%, and then tiny turtle. Not bad, not bad at all, actually. Not bad at all. So I bought those two, and here we go. Breed. Let's select the other one right here. Hell yeah. And here we go. We got a breeding fee of 1 AXS and 200 SLP because they're at zero count. If you guys don't know how to breed, I actually have a tutorial on how to breed. This is just for fun. I never done a video for fun. So here we go. Let's breed, baby. All right, so I decided to actually go on a hunt, on a hunt to see if there's any other axes that I can breed that people don't have. There's not a lot of them. So I went with Iguana, Scaly Spear, and Red Ear, and Tiny Turtle. And there's only three of those. There's only three of those ever in the world in the world right now there's only three so as you can see right here um there's not a lot of these there's not a lot of these out there um but for sure for sure i'm gonna try to breed that i'm gonna try to breed that and here we go um i already bought an axi that has what i need to breed um and this is my calculations right here so i have this axi and this axi so i will get tiny turtle right here 53 percent scaly spear at 84 percent red ear at 75 percent and then i got iguana or gila if i get gila as well it's very rare so if i actually go right here to the parts and i go to gila gila bam as you can see there's only two of those and one of them i own it myself so there you have it there you have it let's see if i can actually get away with this so yeah this combination is so rare that even if i go to like if i don't select any class right here you can actually see there's only three and this is the third one um and it's a beast so if i put reptile then that's it that's all there is that's all there is and look at this i have any um breed count seven um you know there's only three in the world so those are the type of axes I'm looking for. And if you actually look at the cards, um, they're really good. Gila is the highest damage with the highest um, health, I guess, or, or you know, um, shield. Um, Iguana um, has generate one energy when attacking a buff target. So nice there. So if I get either of those in the back, I'm cool. I'm cool. But anyways, let's go for this combination right now and see if we can actually get it. This is what we're trying to get. Iguana or Gila, Red Ear, Scaly Spear, and we're trying to get Tiny Turtle, baby. So let's actually go for it. We're going to select the Axie that we want, which is this one. I believe that's a combination. Let's see. Yeah, it is. And we're going to breed right here. Boom. Confirm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we're going to create uh, an axi that has never been created before. 
Um, I don't know if it's going to be a good axe in the future, if it's something that people will use now necessarily, but I'm still going to do it just for the fun, just for the fun of it, because I find it fun to create axes that are not in the market yet. So the axe that I'm going to create in this one is pumpkin, beach, carrot, and cotaro. Those four combinations together, and on top of that, reptile. So reptile body with pumpkin, beach, carrot and cotaro so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab this axi and this axi right here and i'm gonna combine it as you can see right here i get cotaro beach pumpkin and carrot now the problem here is that this is a 50 50 split right so i don't know if i'm gonna get um there's a lot of there's a lot of things going on here so we got this there's a, there's a split we don't know if we're gonna get the plant or we're gonna get the reptile and then on top of that all these percentages but we're gonna go for it we're gonna go for it and see what happens all right all right ladies and gentlemen i decided to breed something else another one another one now i want to go for actual bees here so here we got jaguar nutcracker little branch and nutcracker again so i want to breed this there's not a lot in the market so i was like you know what let me test it let's see if i can do something with it so i bought this one for 0.22 and then i bought this one for 0.1 now the problem with this one is that it has curly right here double curly now if we calculate now we have a chance of we have a 40 percent chance of getting that curly hopefully we do not get that curly hopefully so we're gonna go for it let's see how many breeds we can do i don't have a lot of slp right now um but 800 at least we can do one right now we are ready ladies and gentlemen let's go welcome back welcome back within the same video okay here we go we're gonna start with what i started here i think it was um yeah i started with plants in another video so here we go we're gonna open this what is this what is this oh my god you got a fish part oh my goodness okay 110 okay i guess this is okay what is this okay not bad not bad not bad beach carrot series pumpkin let's see the stats here oh i got a pins right here okay okay this is not bad not bad dude this is a reptile i forgot what i wanted here but let's do it baby let's do it okay okay i like this one hell yeah we got red ear tiny turtle scaly spear and snake jar hell yeah the only well no actually this is good this is good this is a pure one this is a pure one at least in the d dna uh let's see snake jar although there's only three in the world hell fuck yeah baby morph yeah morph baby morph all right all right all right cotaro not bad tri spikes not bad the only bad thing here is that we got a blue um ear in terms of actual cards if you guys don't know um eyes and ears do not affect what cards you get but they do affect um your, your stats a full reptile axi would have 57 um hp right this would be a full reptile but we have five reptile parts so that means one of the reptile parts is aquatic so if we go back up here we can see that aquatic gives us right um only one hp and then it adds speed so that's not that bad i guess that's not that bad but you know um it doesn't make it as a pure you know reptile so that's that so if we take away here three that would be 54 plus one yes exactly so 55 if we go back we can see 55 so yeah that is the only bad thing um and then we got here only one reptile part in the r1 so whenever we actually breed this axi or somebody grabs it to breed what's gonna happen is that there's you know this strong d dna and then we got the r2 here so yeah, it lowers the chances unless you get another axi that has pure D reptiles, right, in the ears. So that it could counter all of this. But yeah, not bad, not bad, not bad. All right, let's go for the next opening, baby. All right, hell yeah, my dude. Wow, that is a beautiful axi. That is an actual beautiful axi. Let's go. Let's freaking go. So try spikes, pretty good tiny turtle hell yeah 
Cerastas, hell yeah, Iguana. Wow, these are not bad breeds, dude. Not bad breeds, not bad breeds. All right, so here we go. We're going for the next one. Um, this one is actually a different combination right here of parents. I did use this one again. So let's let's see let's see what comes out of this. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Let's go. Red ear, Kotaro. Oh my God, Scaly Spear, Iguana. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. I'm actually yes, yes. I'm. I feel good about this one. All right. So let's go for the next Axie. Okay, 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 here we go. Hey, yo, this is a beautiful Axie. Holy crap, my dude. Holy crap. Gila, let's go. Gila, Scaly Spear, Kotaro, and Red Ear. I think one. I think this one is a rare Axie as well. Very rare Axie. Oh my God, I just bred a super rare Axie. Hopefully this one's really, really good. Beautiful Axie, beautiful Axie. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's go, baby. Nice Axie. Don't know how good it is. 70 right here. 80. Okay, okay, okay. All right, here we go. Next one. Come on. Come on. All right. Pumpkin, Kotaro, Cactus, and Snake. There is only two in the world. Let's go, baby. Still a rare Axie. And I like it. I like the fact that they're rare. They're rare Axies. Morph. Oh, hell yeah, baby. Hell yeah. Another one. Another one. Carrot. Tiny turtle. Cactus. Ooh. Ooh. One out of one, baby. One out of one. Yes, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, baby. One out of one. There's none in the market like this. There's none in the market, baby. Ooh, this feels good, baby. This feels good. This feels absolutely insane, dude. Hell yes, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh. Next one. Morph. Come on. Come on. Okay. 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 Only two. Only two in the world. Let's go morph. Yes, that's a beautiful axi. That is a beautiful axi. Let's go. All right, yeah, one out of one again. One out of one again. Another one out of one, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Here we go. Let's go, dude. That's not bad. That's not bad, dude. The only bad thing, the only bad thing here is that we got an ear that is um, basically, it's, uh, it's not pure. It's not six out of six, but it's not bad. It's not bad. I think it only takes away one more all here. Um, definitely not a bad axie. Definitely not a bad axie. Sorry, didn't go through the morphing process. This is not bad either. It's another Jaguar, but this one's six out of six. This one's actually good. Actually, fully good. Fully, fully, fully good, baby. Fully good. All right, here we go. Last one, baby. Last one. Oh, my God. That's crazy, dude. That is crazy. <sighs> this has been a good run. What a great run. It is worth it to, to actually, you know, go deep into this and understand the value of, of, of each Axie. You look at the DNA and all of that good stuff. Uh, it's kind of cool, man. Oh, yes. I'm so excited. It's not bad. It's not a bad Axie. We got Axie Kiss. Apply lethal to target if this Axie HP is below 30. Is it 30? 30%? Yeah, 30%. This is not a bad Axie. Not a bad Axie at all. Um, good right here, good right here, not cracker. Obviously, not double nut. It's it's kind of like I think it's a meta, but I'm not sure because I haven't played in so long. <laughs> this was actually a good run. I hope you guys kind of understood in this video how to go about breeding, right? Um, look at me. I don't know about meta, but if you are a meta player, like you understand the meta, right? You're a PvP player. You're an adventure player. You understand what you need, what you need. I think it's important to take the leap of faith, kind of go through the market and kind of just do it, right? Um, I, this is the reason why I did it. Um, I wish I had the desire to PvP, right? I, I, I literally wish. I, I, this is way more exciting to me, obviously. I, I wish I had that desire. I don't as of right now. 
Um, maybe in the land, it's going to be different, you know. But anyways, guys, just go do it. Go do it, man. Go do it. It's, it's very, very fun. I know it takes money. But if you actually understand the meta, you, there shouldn't be any reason why you shouldn't be making money, right? Um, so anyways, I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye. Peace.